Good evening, everyone. I am Pylonio Waffles. This is the Sunday Parable Part 2. Let's begin. Last time we got the confusion ending. Other than the one where Stanley is screaming at the top of his lungs, I am sane, I am real, I have an office. Okay, let's not click to skip this time. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. And we're back. Alright, whoa, whoa, that's different. Did he say anything? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Interesting. This the game's... That's weird. That one. Alright, let's... Let's do the exact opposite of the narrator this time. Set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I mean, the last episode it was quite uh, nice. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. He also went downstairs. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Do not lie. If you're lying right now, stop. Here a sign you can't tell me what to do. What is some construction blueprints it looks like? Warning, do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, $1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, $5,000. But we can still do it. Oh, we can... But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Thank you. All right, I thought there was going to be an invisible wall there. Let's do all that again. The meeting room. Yes, that's oh. where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. That's different. Ah, oh, that reset. Okay, cause I got to, I think I got to three purple chunks. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. 
Okay, let's see if we can ride the lift. The meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. What a but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. I was very good at following directions. I was so good at following directions, I didn't even wait an hour. No, I did wait an hour before. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Yeah. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has can... been about nothing but you all this time. This Jeez, that is tall! Stanley, someone you've forgotten about. Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Okay, we'll jump down there again. Well, not or jump on the catwalk. I look. It looks like we can jump on the catwalk. Cause yeah, cause I think I can still jump off it. Oh, hey, there's an open door at the bottom. Too bad I can't, you know, safely jump down there or anything like that. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside, to let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That is a fat forklift. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. I don't know. I, 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 I'm not sure who this person is. Cause you're not giving me any context. Is it could be a girlfriend? It could be a wife. Can I? Hey. And you're just gonna keep. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance but with hope. Hope for a life reunited. One. Wait. Oh goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? No, that no. wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. You haven't met me, obviously. No, it's definitely the light stops swinging. Day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions I'm very are good. to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. You just said I was not making I meaningful teens... Meaningful no, teaches. Cheeses? Choices. There goes the English language just me. out the window. I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. I'm a real boy! I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely... Don't tempt me. ...even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. I like that Which option better. What would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. I guess I'm not real, Link, so that don't make sense. Excellent. 
Making choices oh, on we were a supposed basis to. is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, yes. you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world. Just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Please, I'm begging. Stop, stop, stop. Danger. Danger everywhere. Danger, Will Robinson. I really like... I feel like... I feel like that's a good shot for a thumbnail. Right there. Yeah. I think we'll make that our thumbnail for this video. So if my choice, if I'm so seemingly insignificant in the vast cosmos of space, oh, there's chain links on the. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you never know. As soon as possible before the narrative. Doctor Who, the main character, dies all, almost half the time. It seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. So I guess we gotta go back to the doors. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. I'm a real boy! I deserve to belong in a real world! Remember, this is different. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. And how would Stanley would behave? And always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Alright. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm not Stanley. No! Why did you Ooh, do that? hello. Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, B, four, five, six, B, four, five, six, B. Seven, eight, nine, oh, seven, eight, nine, oh, seven, eight, nine, oh. Oh, hello there. Like I says, quickly, go back! Do, 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 do. Taking my sweet time. Oh, okay. It's oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you, my story, you've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my yes. story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't. Do not alter without consuming my important memory. Forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. R.I.P. Fonz. What do I do? What do I More do? juror everywhere. No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. thought you were so clever now look where we are I am clever thank you destroyed it was the only thing in the world that was mine and you've run it into the ground what did you think that would be funny 
Yes. Just had to see. You shouldn't have given it to me. Upon you how important it was to I break. Be like Stanley. I break everything. He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. But I'm not Stanley. It even occurred to you had it that there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Had the thought occurred to you I'm not Stanley? My story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be. I was just going to say, my lead your hey, All right. it's really difficult to make to two, or to get past this small little crate on the ground. Left. I still want to. I still. Mm, fine. Fine. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find. They have a there. new product. What is hot? Profits, 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 profits. Colored in segment. The stock market is somewhere here. Stripes requires more secondary research. Target demographic: teenagers. What is hot? I guess they like profits. A lot of percentage space between the teenagers, size of demographic teenagers. We need less reviews, 42 and 405, want to get rid of the death sport portion in the primary review schedule, but I think that's a stupid idea. More water coolers, more water cooler heaters, charge need to be more hip to appeal to teenage demographic. Find teenagers to put in demographic big net, some sort of child trap. <laughs> Throw something in the ideas bin. No more bins, trash cans. Renaming the idea. Firing on me? Ideas bin. Is that a... Oh, no, let's start cycle some. I thought that was like the. Whoa, hello. Better safe than profits. Business. Okay, let's let's get moving. As much as I want to. Get... Let's try to make things appear. Hold on. I want to look at the circular. The sp Quarterly pie charts. All right, the rest is too small to read. Coming to <laughs> staircase, I can't go downstairs. Is something gonna break? Oh, computer! No, no computer. Oh, this is different. Hey! Stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a the most expensive next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was Night only Shark one 115. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself Can the I speak courage you real to quick? face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. I just want to say that portrait is the uh, desktop icon for the game. Or just the icon for the game in general. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't. I don't think it's letting story. me. This is a crucial step. Night Shark 115. Okay, fine, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. 
the kind of respect Why is there holding shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. He said to imitate Stanley. Whoa. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Can you get the narrator to say that if you just stay there and do nothing? Do something? Anything? This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Oh, okay, just forced to uh, restart. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, this is interesting. Whoa. Welcome to the whiteboard ending? Okay, but what's over here? Alright, let's go to the whiteboard ending. Does that, are there any of the other doors open? Probably not. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Console bark. Oh, okay, I can't do anything. Alright. Wait. No, I can't open that door. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Interesting, there's a fan in the background. And it's not mine. I'm just curious to see if we can get the narrator speaking that or if that was just a bit for the other ending. No? Okay. Let's go to the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly wait, well. Wait, Perhaps wait, wait. What's the pop the can I close the door on myself? Just to admire it. Oh, I'm Gosh dang it, I didn't think to close the door on myself. No! The lounge was sublime, a work of art. What was it about this room that called so deeply and so personally to Stanley? It's Let me tell you, cold drinks. Charm. No. Stanley knew it was something deeper, something darker. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. I never cared for the co-workers anyways. Alright, I guess we can get going. To get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. 
Stanley was so bad, really want to go back. It's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, yes. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. I cannot believe I didn't think to close the door on myself on the whiteboard ending. Gosh dang it. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Anarchy shall reign. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I'm colorblind. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red <laughs> door. <laughs> All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Well, you kept you stopping see? me. There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Yes. Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Wall 128. I don't think I put a lot of time into that, because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing, because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want? Give me a reason to the trust you. Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Vehicles sound fun. What? Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Can I take the right door? The left door, I mean. Gosh dang it, I ruined the I I I ruined the moment. Gosh dang it. Alright. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. More choices is nice. I'll give you a two, though, because nothing oh, well, happened. Now, this is useful. You didn't like it, but you didn't totally hate it either. You enjoyed it, perhaps is the correct term. It didn't cause you excruciating pain. Big steps we've made here today, Stanley. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. What previous playthrough? I walked through one door! I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. Good old Neil is offline. Int Interesting. 21.3% of players get the intro sequence. I didn't get to read that. How long does it take you to get to the correct door? Compete against others to improve your sanity. You are objectively ranked 9,328 out of 9,328. Error friends list empty. That's not true. The worst three percent of players shows the blue door. Ninety eight ninety eight point nine percent players are more attractive than Stanley. I feel really called out in both of those statements. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers please. Not really. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play testing. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Blink. Ooh, oh. Timing. 
In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. What? You hit the button to move him back to the right. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. It's All a very the meaningful game. The tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So four hours, I'm good. Four hours of play to make sure it's effective. Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that for that long. That's really annoying. You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. You can still see the hologram of the it's baby. Over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Hey, don't give me that Since sass. So awful. Why don't we play someone else's game just to ease the pain? Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. <sighs> this is fun. Oh, hey, I haven't well, played this game in a this while. At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? I'm done Can I jump? You. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> this will go here. No. Here and then let's see what does it need? I uh, yes, of course, and just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. I made the standing. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, stand Really, half the experience. So That's not Isn't it great. grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, no, I want to stay standing. in the dirt house. Go mining. Can I stay in the dirt house? I guess not. world is so in wait hold on oh no wait what oh I can't move under that rude so there's literally no way for me to get around because you can't jump worth a darn oh my it looks like it's going to get a bit dark have you brought a light Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. Here's zombie and a spider. Okay. Interesting. I recognize this music. Hey! <laughs> yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. Clearly, I have not played this game. Myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now oh, I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. That's not the... I can't read that, but...
Yeah, although that's not how it's... You're playing the game incorrectly, Mr. Narrator. It's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. You're oh yeah, oh yeah, this is very Portal 1. This is Portal 1. Genius. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I oh, come on. One of these games, I doubt you're highly wiser for the experience, which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. Oh. The music stopped. Work in progress. Filing cabinets. Hey. Oh, this is... This is a little bit creepy, I'll admit. I like the mist... Whoa. Stanley Parable Alpha Test. Please rate your experience. Beta... In progress iteration one eight four B stroke two two. Oh, we just well, you took my radio. I guess that I guess that's okay. You didn't have you didn't uh, didn't have any music playing, so I guess that's okay. This is interesting. Oh, it's light over there. Do we trust the light? I don't like light. It's me, but... Oh, it's the singular light. 427, this is my compute... Typically my room. Room? Office. Is there anything else I can do here, or is it... I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. But you're not yes, listening to Stanley. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Oh, is he waiting for me to restart the game? Why? Or the game will do it itself. All right. Okay, we're back in normal town. What could it mean? Why is it raining? To go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Why is there rain when it's outside? He couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Hmm. All right, let's try to get the whiteboard ending. Cause I didn't. Seen that before. Stanley came to a set of two open this was not the All right, to the let's jump to where something happens, or we Perhaps get to the whiteboard ending. The lounge first, just to admire it. Maybe throwing some random Stanley jokes along the way. Room, Stanley, for the first time, understood true happiness. Then the feeling went away, and he felt sad again. Then it came back and lingered for a minute or two. Now it's only half there, just a kind of um. Tingle. Anything else? Alright. Let's -a go! Yes, really. but Excuse me, I was talking. The future was yesterday, tomorrow is now. Get Chris out of the broom closet. Hire someone to synergize papers. Papers are too synergized. Fire paper guy. Hire somebody to fire paper synergizing guy. Desk? <laughs> Employee numbers and then gym. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry! ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always okay. putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Well, come All back. Right. Let's see how long. Mm -hmm. 
You'll be here. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Guess I'll enter the door on my left, like I'm supposed to, unless something else broke again. Okay, let's finish that reading this whiteboard. Who moved my desk? Leave. Please Stanley keep the targets on the topic office, of blank. Then he might find an answer there. Okay. Let Bob and say, take it or pass it to another co workers. Resent co workers for not supporting you all. Let it be. Interesting. Okay. No, oh, okay, there's no other. Coming to a staircase, okay, this is looking so far. Looking good so far. Let's jump a wee bit, I guess. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself. That's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. Okay. Interesting start. Let's see what happens from here. What does that mug say? I hate Mondays. A lot of us do. Stanley felt lightheaded, butterflies in his stomach, giddy in a way he had never known before. That changes every this room. A connection between the two. Could a man love a room? I mean, truly. Truly, deeply, madly, love. I think the real question is, can the room love him back? Warning, do not stand on this side of the fence. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. And I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. Which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me, I've had enough. So, why don't you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand revolutionary ideas for the perfect video game, you can just sit there and let it ball up inside you for all eternity. I don't need your advice. I don't need your ratings. And I certainly don't need the validation of a man whose job is to push buttons. I think I'll just go about my business making meaningful cultural contributions to the world. And perhaps every now and then I'll think back to a man named Stanley who was objectively wrong in every decision he ever made. The thought won't last long. Goodbye, Stanley. Good luck with your work. And I sincerely hope that everyone lives happily ever after. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yes. Seems like you do need my ratings, considering that you are asking for them. I gave you a five. Like, come on. All right, we can't do anything else, so... They're one of the reasons I don't respect you, Mr. Night Raider, if you're, since you're so desperate. You're not Cave Johnson. Okay? You're just like... You're not the man. You're not gonna make... You didn't make... Knife gives you lemons. You don't make life take the lemons back. You don't demand to see life's manager. You didn't get... Any of your scientists or your employees to invent a combustible lemon to burn the house down, alright? It's just... Shameful, oh, even. Looks like stuff's back to normal. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What duck Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. No. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some current no. age music. This isn't helping my anxiety. Seems like the whiteboard ending, that one is completely random. It's whenever the game restarts and the office is bluish. So, would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall. We'll go down for a little bit and then we'll go back. So does lead to a violent death, as we have discovered. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. All right, now we'll turn around.
I like the sound design with the fluorescent bulbs. As you get closer, you can hear the humming. But of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. Bring the lights rose on a room room packed with television screens. Hey, that's what we were up there once before. This place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I don't know, let's see. For once, Mr. Narrator. Whoa. What? What? Okay, then. That's different. That was... Entirely by accident this time. Okay, this is huge. Anything else over here? Is it just like the weird, some weird lighting? Can, can you even see that? I can't do anything. Okay, interesting. What is this, the pit ending? Alright, that'll do it for this episode of the Stanley Parable. I recorded for over an hour. Hopefully the video is not that long. Probably shouldn't. It should only be 40-something minutes at the most. Hopefully. I don't know. We'll see. You guys, will, you guys will already know the answer before I do, or vice versa. Yes, vice versa, because past me... Because future me, relative to current me, will edit the... I'm getting way too complicated. I, I don't need to do a Stanley Parable outro for the Stanley Parable video. If you guys enjoyed that, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Tell me why in the comments below. If there are any games you want to see, comments. I also have a Discord server. If you want to join that, I'm active on there. And share this video with random people. Seriously, share it with completely random people they've never met before. Do it. Tell me what happens, if anything at all. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. This intro's gone long on enough. Goodbye. Ha! Psych! There's more! There's more! Oh, we got it. It was... What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Console bark? Yeah. I'm a real boy! Is good to me? No! Me? Yes! Is everything alright? No! Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever no. choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. No. Do Too much pressure, please. And now we wait for the game to restart on its own. There he go. There he go. Go go. Do 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 do.